This video will show how to change our old style spring hinge to our new style spring hinge. The first thing that we're going to do is disengage the spring from the old hinge. Remove the hinge rod from the old spring. We're just loosening the screws. part that connects to the kiln rings. Lift the piece up and over the heads of the screws and place it off to the side. Next we're going to remove the lid part of the old spring hinge. You'll remove all six screws in the back of that piece. Remove the handle from the front of the lid spring hinge piece. Remove the front plate. Carefully lift the piece off and place off to the side. You're now ready to attach and assemble the new spring hinge to the kiln. Gather the parts of your new spring hinge, the lid section, the ring section, the hinge bars, the springs, the handle, and some half inch spacers that we'll show you what you use them for in a minute. Okay, now we're going to take the ring section of the new stainless spring hinge and put it over the extended screws where the old piece was. In some older models, you might need to re-drill a few of the holes, but uh, not necessary most of the time. Next, we're going to take the lid piece of the new hinge and set that on top of the kiln. With the ears on the outside of the ring section of the kiln. Next we're going to take half inch spacers that are used for the three inch lid. If you had a two and a half inch lid and you were putting this hinge on then you would use three quarter inch spacers. The spacers are placed under the lid hinge piece in order to raise it to the proper level for attachment. Now we're going to take the center hinge bar with the two springs assemble them through the holes in both hinge pieces.
place the safety pins on either end to hold the bar in place. Next we're going to take the front hinge plate and line it up with the lid hinge piece. And assemble that to the kiln lid. You're going to have to drill four holes with a 964 drill bit uh, to assemble the plate to the kiln lid. Next you're going to use the stainless steel screws provided to attach the plate to the kiln lid. Next we're going to drill 964 holes through the two holes in the center to attach the clasp for the safety latch. Next we'll attach the clasp. using the stainless steel screws provided. Next we're going to assemble the ceramic handle to the front of the lid hinge section using the threaded rod, acorn nuts, washers, and ceramic handle provided. socket or adjustable, adjustable wrench should be used to put the final turns on the screws. 